Hello and welcome to TriFit. This video is going to be all about a new eating plan that I'm trying. So it's a low carb, high fat program and I'm doing a two week reset. So there's a few parts to this. So why low carb, high fat? Well, the main reason is a low carb, high fat um, eating plan teaches your body to burn fat rather than carbohydrates. So I like longer distance triathlon and I often find towards the end I am um, running out of fuel. So a low carb, high fat uh, program helps your body burn fat. So you can actually store a whole lot more fat than you can carbs. And with your carbs, you have to keep taking it on um, during a race or during training. You have to just keep you know, taking carbs in. So if your body's used to burning fat, then it can continue to burn fat and you don't need the carbs until much later in either your training or much later into a race. So I'm going to give it a two week reset. So I'm working with a nutritionist in Melbourne, the natural nutritionist. So I do love carbohydrates. I do love bread and pasta and white flour and cakes, um, all that kind of stuff. I love carbs. So a few years ago, I had metabolic testing done. And one of the results of that was that I actually am a really poor fat burner, even at rest. Because I was not so good at burning fat, one of the best ways to get your body better at doing that is to reduce the amount of carbs you have. And the challenge is not just taking out carbs, but actually making sure you're replacing it with something that's going to make you feel full. The Basis of each meal is two cups of vegetables, one serve of protein and one serve of fat. I can also have one meal a day where I actually have two serves of fat. Being on a plant-based diet, it's a little bit harder to get good quality fat sources. So where I'm getting those from uh, is oil. So coconut oil in particular and olive oil and um, avocado, coconut milk, coconut cream, nuts, so those are kind of the sources where I will get my, my fats from. The thing that you have to be careful with, you only need one tablespoon of olive oil or coconut oil to be a serve of fat. So you can't actually eat a lot of that. So that's where the two cups of vegetables comes in because you end up having quite a big volume of vegetables um, in each meal. So you get the volume to help you to feel full and then you also have the protein in there. The reset is really like a kickstart for the body just to get it to burn that fat. So there are a couple of things that I can't eat. No sugar at all. All refined carbohydrates are out. So crackers, obviously cakes and that kind of thing are out. Most fruit is out. So fruit is fairly high in carbs. Uh, the fruit that you can eat is berries. Um, the other thing that's out is potatoes, corn, rice, quinoa chickpeas, lentils. So lots of foods that I would have fairly regularly. So for these two weeks, they're out. So hopefully I don't get hangry. I don't think I've been hangry today. You might have to ask Tim and see if he thinks I've been hangry. Who knows? You have been a little bit. <laughs> no. So anyway, it's day one. So we'll see how we go. So I had my one black coffee, but it's a bulletproof coffee. And if you've never had a bulletproof coffee, it's coffee with a tablespoon of coconut oil and I used Nutalix. So you can use butter if you eat dairy and you kind of whip it so it's so creamy and, and nice and it's a really good coffee. But if you have a coffee like that and go for a run straight away, you may feel like vomiting. So I learned that the hard way today. So you might remember we did a video about our weight loss so we were using an app to track calories and we got down to our goal weight and we were happy with that. So rather than continuing to count calories, now's a good time to try something new and see how that works for us. You can watch that video. I'll just put a link. Um, it should be up on this side. Then I'm going to do another video about the effects of the two weeks. So go through and tell you what actually happened when I was eating. So how did I feel each day? changing to this um, quite different eating style that I'm going to try. Um, how did it affect my training? How did it affect my sleep? And just different things, how easy it was to follow. 
and that kind of thing. And then I'm going to do one in about six weeks after I've tried it and my body's used to it a little bit more, I'll try it um, and tell you what it's like. So like I said, the low carb, high fat is my eating plan for the next two weeks. I'm going to put out another video in just over two weeks time. If you subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications, you will get notified of when I put up the next video in the series for this. Also have a look on our uh, Facebook and Instagram, so Try Fit with Tim and Amanda. If you have a look on that, I'll just be posting daily some of the foods I'm eating and how I'm feeling. Keep your head straight. Keep my head straight. Yeah, that's better. <laughs>